Hey YouTube, I'm bringing a video to you today about the Seiko Automatic Monster that I bought here a couple years ago. This is the uh, Seiko 5 model SRP487K1. This is the uh, red and black uh, monster. There's a white one that's just like it that's also very nice. White and blue, I believe. I chose this one. Uh, this watch, I I don't know if I just got a smoking deal at the time or what, but I paid $150 for it brand new, and I can't find them for less than about $250 now. So I don't know what that's about. But in any case, I was going to tell you, uh, this is kind of a review on the watch. I bought it in November of 2016. Um, I do not wear this watch to work. I'm a mechanic, and obviously it would be shredded by now. But I do wear this uh, about four days a week on average, um, or evenings when I'm off work. And I would say that the uh, one outstanding thing and surprising thing about this watch is its durability. The crystal is nearly perfect. I mean, there's some dust on it, but there's no like deep scratches or gouges. And the bezel is in really nice shape too. It's held up extremely well. I mean, there's a little wear on the edge, but it's really in good shape. The band, you know, the stainless steel band is showing, uh, you know, showing its uh, age a little bit. But I plan to uh, polish that out a little bit here at some point, you know, just for just for my own. You know, it's not that bad, but I kind of enjoy having a really crisp looking watch. I'm also considering just hanging it up because of the price. I mean, if it's going up, maybe I'll just keep it nice. But in any case, uh, the other thing I really like about this watch is, you know, its size, its weight. It's got a real, it's a, it's a hefty watch, and, and uh, I just kind of prefer a, uh, something that has a little more weight to it when it's on your, uh, on your uh, wrist. And, and uh, I really, really think it's a very comfortable watch, too, for being a big watch. It, it's, it's got a nice feel. And uh, I like the steel band on it too. It is it is a very nice band. Um, for the most part, I can't say too much bad about this watch. It's been really outstanding. Uh, there's a couple things that kind of disappointed me, and they're the two that were the big ones are the Loom, which everyone raves about Seiko Loom, and this is my first Seiko. And uh, I gotta admit that the Loom is just. I mean, it's okay. It's not outstanding. It's not, you can see it at 4 o'clock in the morning when you wake up like people claim. I mean, it's it fades pretty pretty much like any other loom on any watch I've ever owned. I just, I'm not blown away, and I thought I would be because people raved about it. Uh, the other thing that is kind of a bummer is this has the uh, 4R36 movement, uh, which is, this is the 4R36A and people really raved about its accuracy and I'm telling you right now that uh, I lose about seven minutes a week on this watch and it's it, I get slow seven minutes so you know that's another thing this is far from the most accurate watch I've ever owned and it's uh, kind of a disappointment in that way too but it's been my daily wearer uh, for evenings and weekends and days off and stuff for couple years and I, I can't say like I said I can't say too much bad it's it's a little bit of a pain to readjust the time all the time and uh, you know it is windable and hackable and all that which is really cool I mean it's got some nice features and for hundred and fifty dollars I mean I got a smoking deal but uh, I wouldn't tell anybody not to buy this watch but I wouldn't exp I wouldn't have as high expectations as I did I, I get that I'm not in the uh, super high-end watch market here with this hundred and fifty dollar watch but at the same time it's um, I don't know. People were raving about it, and I, I, I listened to the hype a little bit, and maybe I shouldn't have done that. So anyway, uh, this is a this is a nice watch, and I would recommend it to to anybody looking for something that's um, affordable and uh, very nice looking. I get compliments on it pretty pretty frequently. Um, so yeah, you know, don't hesitate, but at the same time, uh, don't don't have your expectations expectations through the roof because. Uh, it definitely uh, hasn't been a perfect watch by any means, but very comfortable, very nice looking, and uh, for the most part, you know, keeps decent time, I guess. So anyway, thank you for uh, tuning in.